Hello everybody, welcome back once again to episode 9 of my Robert Cross Let's Play of Rise of Flight. Robert Cross is the character that I'm playing in Rise of... not important. Okay, so, uh, this episode you might have noticed is actually being uploaded at pretty much the same time, maybe not, maybe directly after uh, another episode. And the reason I decided to do that is because A, I have a little more time now, so I had a, had time to record more episodes, which makes me happy and hopefully makes you guys happy too. And B, uh, last episode wasn't exactly very uh, exciting for those who watched it. It was mostly putting around and doing nothing. So I figured I'd upload two episodes at one time to hopefully make up for that lull in the entertainment a little bit. So I'm going to jump back over to, well, not back, over period to Pat Wilson. We'll start off with Robert Cross again. Oh, oh, oh whoop, whoops, clicked through some stuff. My bad. Okay, so yeah, nothing has really changed. Um, we're the second lowest rank in our squadron, or escadrille, which is dumb because we're awesome. Look at that. Mm, 11 kills. Feels good. The day is the 9th of uh, May, so the next day from the last mission. Um... We'll just, uh, I don't think much has changed, but we'll take a quick, quick gander at the intelligence. Fockers, Fockers, Fockers. Roland. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I see some DFWs up there, despite the fact that they're not on here. Uh, map, I don't think much has changed. We'll leave it be. For now, I think that we should just start our mission. Mission? Oh, decent. Okay. Patrol. Not a, uh... <laughs> Like what we've been used to the last couple episodes, intercept missions, intercept missions, and more intercept missions. We'll leave ourselves with 70 fuel, 70% 70 fuel. That should be more than enough to get us where we're going and then back again. Pilot selection. Who's it coming with us? Ooh, just the two of us. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not in command. Who am I kidding? Although I will, I will sw uh, swap out Anton, though, for B, uh, because I do want... Ooh, no, didn't mean to take that. Ah! Okay, we're good. Got this. Hmm. So, well, for B, though, because they're the same rank, and I like to bring in the people that I've named, just because I'm, I'm like that, I guess. So, we'll just go accept mission, and then we will jump over to Rise of Flight, where we will go patrol and start. All right, and here we are at our mission briefing screen. Usual path. We just, we're going to be heading uh, northwest a little bit. Then way more northwest, a little north, and then we're going to be heading east across the uh, the the lines there, just on a basic patrol. Nice, simple, easy, beautiful cover girl. What do you want from me? Uh, here we go. Just checking, make sure we got our skin. Things are set to fifty. Fuel's proper. A good, good, good. Jump back to mission uh, super quickly, and then we'll start. All right. So, P to unpause that crap. So, uh, one thing too, I'll, I'll explain this once a little, probably a little better once I get in the air, but let's, uh, get our mixture to full throttle. We'll give it a little bit of pepper because it helps to start the engine, I find anyway. Start the engine. Let's, uh, check that shit. Wiggle our rudder. Elevator two. We're good? We're good. Wind. We're gonna be taking off into the wind. That should make things. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> so he wants us. He's giving us the signal. She, sorry, that's B. Um, so one thing you guys might have noticed is that my my track IR was actually a little bit uh, sluggish. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe you didn't, but I did, and I figured out what it was causing it. There's a little setting in Rise of Flight for smoothness on the camera, and I changed that. I'm just gonna take off right with her. Uh, I changed that, so I should. Or my uh, track IR is much much smoother, which is super nice because it was kind of it, it just felt sluggish and laggy, and while still being a very effective tool, wasn't being quite as effective as it could have been, right? So I'm just really glad that I was able to get that kind of sorted. It took a little bit of time to figure that kind of stuff out, which I'm glad for. So I don't think that's going to improve my my performance anywhere significantly, but it's you know nice to have. Track IR is really one of those one of those tools in a flight sim that you maybe in a normal flight sim like if you're doing a microsoft soft flight simulator or x-plane which i may actually do in the future on this channel um but that's not something you really need track ir for because you're not needing to keep your head on such a swivel whereas in a combat flight sim it's i would say it's almost like completely necessary you really need to keep your head on as much of a swivel as you can to be able to look down at your instruments to be able to look around and spot an enemy 
as he's making maneuvers. And it, I, I find it really, really, really useful. Um, I'm a far better pilot than I was before I had it, just as I'm simply able to keep a closer eye on my opponents, see where they're flying, so that I can better counteract their flight. Let's pull off to the side a little bit here, and we'll uh, get in a nice formation with B. So, uh, we're heading north now? Yeah, north. The sun's usually at south, so it's usually at our back. So we're heading north at the moment, and uh, which will be headed straight towards the line, basically, to the north. And once we get there, we'll be heading a left. I'm sorry, a right. Yep, a right. A, and heading east across the line. Or, well, along the line. Where we are presumably going to meet some opposing forces. For now, though, it's probably just going to be putting about. So I'm going to cut the video here, bring down everybody back in when things are more interesting and there's less putting. See you in a bit. Bringing everybody back in. Um, I don't think anything interesting is happening quite yet, but we, and by we I mean B and I, have gotten to the front lines, which is actually something that uh, Robert Cross here has not seen in um, well, about two months. Since he got injured. In fact, even before then, I don't know if he'd seen it in a while. Oh, God. Well, that's quite the dive there, B. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought she might have saw, seen something and uh, decided to dive after it, but nope. Guessing that's not the case. Keep with her, keep my eye on my butt, because I don't want anyone shooting it. There's actually been more than a few times just in this series alone that I've looked behind me and caught some guys trying to shove bullets up my ass, so... Just goes to show you guys, keep your head on the swivel. Don't let anyone sneak up behind you. Just stay alive longer. Not that I'm really an authority on that subject, considering my last Let's Play career mode before this was the DH2, which ended in complete and utter failure. Granted, that was from Flak, but still very much... What are you doing, B? She's just like... Oh, that's what she's doing. Okay, now I know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's combat time. I don't know what this is. I'm not going to presume to know because I'm terrible at that. No... Man, that gunner. I'm not in a good spot to be shooting at him, so I'm going to start beaming him because that uh, makes it more difficult for the gunner to fire at me. I'm trying to identify the plane, too. Oh, looks like he's turning around for a pass. Oh, no, never mind. Looked like he was. He was not. He's turning, though, so I'm going to try and cut him off. Try and gain a little bit of... Oh, no, he's turning the other way again. Dang. He's clever to my tricks. He's turning back the other way. Look at him. Well, I'll just fly straight, then. I want to get the height advantage on him if I can. Don't get too close without being much, much higher, though, because he can get a very... His gunner will be able to get some shots off of me if I get too close at this speed. And, of course, we don't want that. Let's see if I can bounce him. Uh, I think it's... I think it's a DFW. Uh, I did do a little bit of looking into um, the planes and how to ident identifications on them to see if I could discern a little better, but I need to get a little closer to look at its tail. That was actually kind of a distinguishing feature that I ended up coming up with, but I should probably do something more along the lines of that, but with the wings instead, because of how much bigger they are. And easier the spot that they are a spot from a distance, but not only from a distance, but from multiple different angles, whereas the tail profile is really only spotable from one angle. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to actually dive, gain air speed,
but not I don't want to get too close to him I also don't want to go straight behind him because I'm afraid of his gunner airspeed going up try and straighten out a little bit so I can at least stay on his level he's turning into me oh no turning away never mind I can't see don't worry about it thought he was turning into me for a moment oh he's, he's shooting at me Here we go. Shit. That didn't work at all. Like at all at all. My goal was to hopefully being able to uh, do a straight yo-yo on him. Getting closer in order to uh, take shots at him. But that did not go over. And he is shooting those bullets at me. This is very unkind, sir. So I'm continuing to try and kind of shuck and jive a little bit. Make it more difficult for him to pin me down. As well as kind of try and uh, stay out of his... Stay, stay from going directly towards him because that makes me an easier shot too. If he needs to track me at all or, or use do a deflection shot then it makes it harder for him to hit me. Uh, I don't know where B went. probably try and find her. Don't know if she's still following. I know she was a little while ago, but I don't know if she is anymore. But, uh, you know, our mission is to take care of patrols and it's to go on patrol and take care of enemy planes and this guy is an enemy plane and he's in our territory, which means that I want him dead. I don't know what his mission is. Probably just observing. But if he's an observer, I don't want him to go home. As much as that stuff doesn't really apply in Rise of Flight, in World War One it did, damn it. So I got the height advantage on him. I just want to try and dive ever so slightly to get some speed. So I do want to catch him. I kind of wish he would start pulling some Star Fox moves like the other uh, two seaters did. Because that makes them actually easier to fight considering their rear gunner can't do anything. And of course I can Star Fox moves better than they can in this new port. But I'm going to try this instead. I'm going to come up next to him. Then, once I'm up next to him, I'm going to try and gain some altitude. I'm going to try and strafe him from side to side if I can. He's turning away from me. Because it makes me a harder target for his gunner. Not that his gunner can't shoot at me, of course. It also makes him a harder target for me, but... This is a little bit intimidating to be honest, like his gunner is way on. Oh. I'm gonna dive. I think I might have caught the gunner while he was uh, reloading there for a moment. Oh boy. I put a few bullets into him, but I don't think it was enough to really, really hurt him. 
Okay, I really can't do what I'm doing. I gotta get up and away from him. Dang it! One of these days, those bullets is going to be lucky. I think he ran out of bullets. Probably reloading because he stopped firing. Ah, oh, so did I, though. You lucky bastard. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and gain some altitude and <clears throat> beam him once again, because he had a. It was clear that he had a much harder time getting shots in on me in that case. So this is a much more intense fight than it oh, normally is. He's uh, he's actually using his rear gunner as a rear gunner should be used instead of the other guys that I was fighting that were uh, trying to pull crazy maneuvers all the time and didn't allow their gunners to actually take shots and I was able to shoot those guys down easily. This guy though, he knows what's up. He knows that rear gunner is his best defense. Shut up! There you go. Start pulling those Star Fox moves. I don't mind. That's quite the dive. For quite a large plane. But I can keep on him. I got this. Might as well chalk this down as DFW number two. Well, sorry, more than number two, but kill number 12. Of course, he's going to lose a bunch of altitude, try and drag me to the mat. I need to focus more, that's for damn sure. This guy's crazy. Reloading. Reload faster. Okay. I think I sufficiently damaged one of his wings. I can kind of see it crinkling a little bit, but he is still in the air, so. Sun won't save you. Dang it. I don't want to get too, too close because then I'll have the same incident I did with that. That, uh... E, uh, E3 that I was fighting where I'll, he'll lose a piece of him and then next thing I'll know I'll have it in my propeller. God dang, would you just hurry up and die already? Oh, he's on fire. Get a view of that. Ooh, it exploded. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um, 
now. Oh, my gun's out of ammo now. I'm actually entirely out of ammo. Uh, <laughs> all right then. Uh, and as I found out too, the sun is actually to the north of me, which is strange. Normally it's to the south. Uh, I'll head back north. It means that when that guy pulled out of all of his spins and crap, he was headed uh, in an attempt to head home. I don't know why he bothered coming this far into enemy territory with a plane on his tail, but whatever. AI pilots can't really be uh, held accountable for their mental state, I suppose. So I'm just going to go back to the front line and, well, maybe. Considering I have no bullets, click. It's a... Uh, Probably actually not really all that good of an idea for me to do so. We'll see if we can find out, can't find out where we are then. Let's find some landmarks. Uh, take a look around. So, let's bring up the map here. Uh, while still flying straight. Okay, so I think this might be that river over there. That's just off to the side. Or that away. That seems to actually match-ish. Which means that there should be a town over here. Town right there. I think. Let's go check it out at least. We're trying to navigate our way home, guys. Uh, let me just take a quick look, zoom in a little bit on the map. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Okay, I do not think that's the town I think it is, but I can probably find that town on my map. Because it's fairly distinct, to be honest, in the way that it's forming at the moment. It seems to have... There's a river next to it. Well, maybe I'm over this way then more. Yep, that's it right there. Okay, I know where I am. See, this uh, this town right here is the that S starting one right there. And I'll... So, and the reason I think that is because the ch line of trees that's on to the, to the north of it matches, right? If you look at it, it's kind of a crescent-y sort of shape. And so is that patch of trees to the north of that town. So that's, that's got to be where we are. Um, and so, to make it back, we need to head south-east-ish. So, uh, uh, gotta give that back. If that is north there, that means we're going to want to fly more this way, actually. I think. Uh, no, actually, it is going to be want to going to want to be this way. Uh, and our, in fact, this river here that uh, jets out from it, yeah, this river actually will lead us straight home. So let's just do that then. Let's follow this river, make it home. Because we're out of ammo, and I don't see B anywhere, and going to find her probably isn't going to be the best idea. I just hope she makes it home okay. Don't want to be losing anybody. I got no ammo. Click. Click. So, we will go home, and we'll also drop altitude too, because we don't need as much altitude as we currently have. We only need... To be, we're on our way home to land, so yeah, we really don't need it. Let's see if we can look up ahead. That's our airfield right there. I was thinking about cutting the video, but no, that's actually close enough that I could probably just fly there on my own. Um, I'll take a flyby as per usual, see what direction the wind is blowing, and we'll come around for our landing. Hopefully it'll be a nice landing. I make zero promises, though. I might want to do a little more toying around with my settings though, because it's running a lot nicer today uh, when I was playing it solo, but I guess it makes sense that by the time I get all the recording software 
uh, running and stuff, my computer does take a bit of a hit, so um, maybe I'll drop down some of the graphical quality a little bit to try and get a little bit of extra frame rate out of the game, because I do notice that it still manages to, uh, to slow up a bit while playing, which is, you know, manageable, because it's not terrible, but uh, I, would, I would much like it to run as well as it can. And I'm willing to take a small hit on my visuals for that. Click. Click. I'm bored. What do you want from me? Click. Eventually I'll get a new port. In fact, I need to make a new plane skin if that's the case. Soon enough I'm going to have to... Yeah, look at that. Exterior view. We're going to be... Uh, if we do move up to the new port 17, we are going to need a new plane skin in order to have our logo on the side. For Eduardo Mark II. Version 2. Whatever. Okay, um, just paying attention, looking at the river here for a moment just to make sure that it matches. Yep, it does, so that is most definitely our home base. Just want to get a look at the sock, so we're going to dive, 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 dive. Can't really get a good view of it from here, but, you know, be there momentarily. Patience. It's a virtue. Uh, if I know the winds around this place, it'll probably be coming from the direction that I'm currently going, which is not nearly a bad thing. Uh, it looks like I'm right, too. It looks like it's flying. I'm flying into the wind at the moment. Which means that I would have actually wanted to land from this direction. Not the other direction. So, which, which means it's going to be a little bit difficult because I'm going to be going over top of those hangars. That's alright, I think we'll manage. I'll try and thread it through those two buildings there. To try and stay low if I can. Oh boy, a little too much pepper on that aileron control. Alright, so let's pull back on the throttle ever so slightly, see if we can't bleed off some air speed. Don't want to be going too fast. We are landing, of course. Make my bank. Alright, we'll try and line ourselves up in between those buildings so we can try and keep the plane nice and low. While still flying into the wind. Okay. Wish me luck, people. Okay, okay. Oh boy. And heck yeah, there we go. Like that's a successful landing if you ask me. Or probably anybody. In fact, so, just because I'm that kind of guy, I'm going to roll my plane back over to the hangar. Stay a bit to the right. Let's, oh boy, let's hold on. <laughs> uh, maybe I should uh, not put so much speed on that because <laughs> nearly, nearly rolled my damn plane. Like, let's give it a little bit of speed and then we'll just use our blip switch for controlling how fast or slow we're going. Sounds like a good idea to me. And rudder. Rudder makes it difficult. Well, actually, that's not true. Rudder makes it possible. Bring us over here. Oh, they got, look, they got a little, little, uh, 
I actually don't remember what the hell those things are called. The music maker things. Can't see it now because it's just on the side of those bre rock crates. Let's for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, that wasn't me. Who 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 put that there? <laughs> what did I actually like run into even? The, oh, it looks like those crates actually like these actually do have collision and um that wasn't me. <laughs> who who put those there? Who what jerks? <laughs> Whoops. Um this time I'm actually not going to bother covering my eyes either for looking at the uh, screen because I think we can all agree that that was one kill. <laughs> Plane crashed. I guess I knocked the propeller, but screw you, game. I was fine, and you know it. Uh, okay, whatever. Back to the generator. Oh, yeah. Back to campaign. Then we can go combat report. I'm going to claim one victory of a DFW. And go. Start debriefing. We flew a ways, flew around, and I basically flew directly, directly back because, yeah, I don't know where the heck, uh, what's it called, went. Damaged by Robert Cross, destroyed by Robert Cross. Oh, yeah, I was damaged by it, too. That jerk and his bullets. Damaged by unknown. What? Destroyed by DFW? That's bullshit. It didn't shoot me down. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the way this thing works is a little bit silly. Uh, debrief complete. Okay, shot down by me. Good uh, job, me. It doesn't look like we lost any people. Pilot lost, what? Uh. We were going to inform the command that so and so, Anton, Sergeant Anton, has been injured in combat with the enemy forces and been unable to uh, for an extended period of time. I guess there must have been another mission flown. While I was doing mine, I guess that makes sense. It would make sense that they would do that, and so I guess it looks like we got another transfer in for a new lieutenant. Hooray. Welcome to the squad, boys. 12 kills. Super happy. More than double what the runner-up has. And that is where we'll call this episode. I'm going to jump back over to Rise of Light so we can get another nice look at Eduardo here. So, like I said, I actually have quite a bit more time now to uh, do some recording. Um, not that uh, my my aim is to have a video out at least once a week, uh, if not more. If I can do more, I will do more because I I do really enjoy playing Rise of Flight, and recording is a little something extra. And um, you know, for people who do enjoy watching it, it is it's actually kind of fun to to uh, see comments and talk to people and all that kind of stuff. So it's something that I'll continue to do for as long as I find it fun to do, and still I find it fun to do. So. Uh, I'm NPC, your pilot, as per usual. Um, I'll be back next time, and I hope you will too, for episode 10 of my Rise of Flight Let's Play. See you all next time.